Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I'm back again with some brand new stuff. We've been restocking some wallets for Father's Day. I've got a brand new version of a Shell Cordovan wallet Johnny the Fox that we're going to look at here. And for Father's Day, we are doing some special deals. We're giving away free gifts with purchase, starting with the Tanner's Blend Conditioner here. At the end of the video, I will show you how the Tanner's Blend can affect some leather like on these Grant Stone diesel boots. Okay, let's get into this new Cordovan option. This is our Johnny the Fox wallet style. It's a traditional bifold, and most men are familiar with this style. It has six card slots on the interior, three on the left, three on the right. There's also hidden card slots underneath. What makes this wallet a little bit different with that Latigo on the interior is the thickness is reduced. We had a lot of people that were asking for thinner wallets. Other versions like this Johnny the Fox here with a reverse shell Cordovan interior tend to be a slight bit thicker. We do try to pick naturally thin pieces of leather for the interior of the Johnny the Fox, but when it comes to a leather like shell Cordovan, the weights and thicknesses are all over the place, which is why we have this good solution here. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at this Johnny the Fox. It's a very clean look, very bright and shiny and smooth shell Cordovan on the exterior in the black color. We also have a matching black hand stained edge that you can see here. And of course that very nice grainy look of the vegetable retained latigo on the interior. And let me give you one more look at the thickness here. You can see this is just about as thin as it can get with all of these layers of leather. And we'll compare that with the next wallet. This is a Johnny the Fox and natural shell Cordovan with a reverse interior. And let's have a closer look at this wallet. Beautiful natural shell Cordovan on the outside. I will spin this around to show you that the color does have a bit of a dramatic range to it. So depending on what angle you look at it, it appears a little bit more vibrant and vivid at some angles, a little bit lighter and darker at others. What's great about the natural shell Cordovan is how nicely it wears in. So most people looking for a patina, most people coming to Ashland Leather are looking for a wallet that is going to develop and change with their style. That's exactly what natural shell Cordovan is great at. I also like reverse interiors. I like that it's a little bit more unique a little bit more random. So if you're getting a wallet for dad, a very unique special option is the Johnny the Fox here. The other difference I'd like to mention is the price because we're not using that more expensive shell Cordovan for the interior of the black Johnny the Fox here. You're saving over $100 on the cost just because we don't have to use all that leather. I have a couple other items that are back in stock. And this wallet here is our passport field notes holder. Recently, we have also added a traveler passport holder that has a bill slot in the back. It's a little bit smaller than this guy here, but this is more of like a traditional passport holder look. On the inside, we have two slots and they will fit a passport just like you see here, both on the, on the right side where it is now, but also on the left. And above the left side, we have two card holders and in between the two card slots on the left, we have a little tiny pen compartment. You have to fit pretty small stuff in there. So something like a space pen fits nicely in there. And let's have a closer look at the outside of this Passport Field Notes holder. This English tan Dublin leather is what we call an aniline finish. So very much a natural appearance and you get to see all the bits of character in the leather. Every piece of Dublin is unique and you'll never find two that are exactly alike. Let me show you some of the characteristics that you can expect to see in the English Tan Dublin. We have some of these striations on this particular piece. It's little bits of figuring in the grain that you might be able to see on the bottom and the top right of this panel here. But we also, if you look very, very closely, you can see the grain character. And you're only able to see these natural bits of character because there are no solids applied to the finish in this leather. Most leathers that you come across are very, very heavily finished and they almost start to look more like paint. Or in the case of the English Tan Dublin, we're able to retain that natural look. And as a side effect, because there is no barrier to prevent patina, a natural aniline finish like the English Tan Dublin here will develop a very nice patina. And we have one more English Tan Dublin wall to look at. Perfect form factor here on the Bugs Moran. I really like this design because it fits perfectly in your hand. It's about the size of a deck of cards if you want a size reference, but it also packs a punch. I like your traditional card layout that we have on the inside here. If you're using three or four cards in each slot, so roughly 12 to 16 cards total, this orientation is a little bit more easy to use, I guess you could say, when compared to the vertical card slot Bugs Moran that we also have. So I like this one for people carrying a little bit more stuff. And in the larger two compartments, you can fit US dollars folded in half. On this wall, of course, we have that amazing English Tan Dublin on the outside. It's our most popular color and leather right now. We also do a natural waxed and burnished edge, but we do apply a tiny bit of color to the edge 
just to give it a very nice matching look. And I promised a demonstration of our Tanner's Blend Conditioner. Let me get out my diesel boots here. This is a diesel boot in black Chrome Excel. And these diesel boots are from Grand Stone. I really, really enjoy these, especially because it has this natural color veg welting as well as a leather outsole. So it gives it this really interesting sort of framed out look when you're uh, looking down at your feet. You might be able to see on this pair of boots, a little bit of extra creasing, a little bit of dirt on this leather, and it starts to feel a little bit dried out. So if you have a leather that looks like it needs a little bit of nourishing, I would suggest starting with a product like the Tanner's Blend first. And the Tanner's Blend is a natural product. This is actually a lanolin-based product, and it lends to a little bit more of a natural appearance. There are no waxes in this conditioner, so it doesn't enhance or increase the luster at all, it should give you a nice neutral look. So before I apply this little itty bitty uh, pea-sized uh, amount of Tanner's Blend to the black Chrome Excel here, the first step that you wanna take is to gently brush off the leather. And I just have a soft horsehair brush here. If you have like an old t-shirt or a soft cloth, you can also use something like that. The only goal at first here is just to remove some of the surface dirt. And the next step I like to take after that is again, take a little bit of like a pea-sized amount of the Tanner's Blend. You can apply this with a soft cloth. I like to use my hand uh, directly because I find it gives me just a little bit more control, especially in, especially in these little creased areas where it sometimes be hard to get the product into those little valleys. So we want a nice light and even coat. You can always add more conditioner or if you're using a waxy polish, you can always add more. The caution I would present is sometimes if you put too much polish or too much conditioner on your leather, the leather starts to look a little bit more like that polish or like the conditioner. So I would say start with a little bit and then add more if you need it. But all you're really looking to see is just a little bit of additional formation of the Tanner's Blend in this case onto the surface. This might even be like a little bit too much. So in the case of using too much, I would take a soft cloth, old t-shirt, anything that's not going to scratch the leather, and you can start to brush off that excess conditioner in this case. We're giving the leather a little bit of a buffing, which should also start to fill in the grain with this conditioner and get us a little bit more of the appearance that we're going for. And we will also be getting a really nice hand feel by buffing in the Tanner's Blend into the Chrome Excel. All right, so I buffed off all the additional Tanner's Blend on the black Chrome Excel here. The last step that I would suggest to take is just take a horsehair brush and give it a really nice brushing. If you rewind the video here and compare to how it looked before, it looked a little bit dirty, felt a little bit dried out, but applying the Tanner's Blend Conditioner really breathes the life back into any leather good. We find it to be really successful on heavily waxed and oiled leathers like the Chrome XL here. We've also seen people have really incredible success on old antique furnitures and leather ottomans and things like that. Thanks so much for checking out the video today. I'm really excited about these black shell cordovan with black Latigo interior Johnny the Foxes. If you have any questions about this wallet, any of the other wallets or how to condition or polish your boots, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. We do live streams and talk about these things all the time. And then later this week, hopefully tomorrow, we'll be doing a custom leather wallet video of some new stuff that's coming out of the shop. We've got so many great things to show you. Until next time, I hope you have a good one.